So I had a friend of mine whose screen name on YouTube here is Speed Mechanic. He basically said, can you talk about active and passive insufficiency? Now to keep things simple, I'll separate the two. In this video, I'll simplify active insufficiency and explain it in a way that anybody can understand it. And I'll do another video in which I do the same thing for passive insufficiency. Now, regardless of whether or not we're talking about active or passive insufficiency, this only applies to muscles that cross over more than one joint. It does not apply to single joint muscles. To understand active insufficiency, you only need to understand one thing, and that is how muscles are designed and how they operate as it relates to their capacity to produce force. They operate on what you would call a bell curve, meaning that their capacity to produce force is at its highest when a muscle is at or near its mid-range in length. As the muscle veers away from its mid-range in length to either get shorter or longer, its capacity to produce force is going to decline and will ultimately be at its lowest when a muscle is in its longest or shortest positions. So I'll give you an example with the biceps to better understand active insufficiency. The biceps cross over the shoulder joint, which most people are not aware of, and they also cross over the elbow joint. When you do a preacher curl or a concentration curl or a machine curl or any type of curl where your elbow is in front of your body, you shorten the bicep at the shoulder joint and brought that muscle closer to its mid-range in length. Therefore, its capacity to produce force at the elbow joint is going to be less as a result of this. So when you do those exercises, other muscles responsible for producing force to perform the direction of effort are going to have to pick up the slack. In this case, it's going to be the brachialis. So the way this works is very simple. You got to understand how muscles are designed and how they operate. They operate on a bell curve. Take a look at where a muscle starts and where a muscle finishes. If it crosses over more than one joint and you shorten it at one joint, what you're doing is incapacitating it to some degree at the other joint. Its capacity to produce force is going to be less. Now this isn't to suggest that a preacher curl or a concentration curl or a machine curl or any type of curl with the elbow in front of the body is not working the biceps. It's just that its contribution will be less because of what is called active insufficiency. If you like the information, share it. Click the fucking button at the bottom of the screen you're looking at. Subscribe to the channel. Support me. And I'll keep bringing you the best information you're going to find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, lose fat, look better, perform better, all that fucking shit.